Yo, what is going on guys? This is Shadow Dragon here and welcome back to Doki Doki Salvation Remake. This is part 4 guys, so let's get going. A week has gone by since Sayori checked out the hospital, but she's been staying at home with her mom and dad rather than going straight to school. Occasionally I'll go over as well and spend the night on the couch. Until today that is. Her mother only ever comes late at night to watch over her. Her strict work schedule doesn't really allow for her to stay any longer. As for myself, it's been tough trying to balance taking care of Sayori and school. Despite everything that's happened, I never really expected the school won't slow down, and my absences really start to pile up. But I still feel completely obligated to watch over Sayori. Not only did I promise myself, I promised her mom too. I mean, that's what friends should do, right? Sayori and I have never really talked about our relationship and where it currently stands. As selfish as it is to think about that sort of thing, it's not something I could completely ignore either. I adjust my blazer and look towards Sayori's house. Sure enough, she's slowly walking towards me, books in hand and a bag over her shoulder. I wave over to her and she waves back with a big smile. Her neck bruise is seemingly covered up with what I can assume is a lot of makeup. I expect this of course, she hates looking at that bruise and she definitely doesn't want anyone seeing it. <coughs> hey Sayori, glad to see you up bright and early. You ready for your first day back? Ready as I'll ever be. Her enthusiasm feels still feels strange to hear. I know she's still hiding it, and I think she knows that too. And yet she gives it up. I don't understand why at all. I can't wait to see all my friends, Shadow. Do you think they missed me? Uh, Sayori, they just came over for dinner last Friday. Don't you remember? That's not entirely true. Natsuki and Yuri visited, but Monica didn't. She sent a few text messages, but nothing more than that. I've got to assume she's busy and leave it at that. Uh, oh, yeah, I guess I forgot. <laughs> I cut up a smile along with Sayori. It's really nice to see her smile. Always a welcome sight when compared to how things were a week ago. As we make our daily commute, I spot a few more students also making their way towards school. As Sayori's eyes frantically dart around, she quickly grabs my arm and intertwines it with hers. She totally pulls me closer, nearly making me fall over. S Sayori, you alright? She only nods as she walks close to me. What could she be afraid of? Does she think everyone in the school knows what happens? I doubt Monica would outright go and tell everyone about it. Yeah, I'm not so sure. You'll be alright, Sayori, I've got you. Sayori and I stop at the school entrance and notice a familiar face not too far away from us. Oh, Sayori, I didn't expect to see you here today. Not that I didn't think you'd come back eventually and I'll... <laughs> Good buddy, Gary. Sayori rushes over and gives her a tight hug. And yeah, I'm here now and I'm feeling way better. Oh, well, that's wonderful to hear. Should we be expecting you at the club today? Of course, the club needs its vice president back. Yuri giggles lightly. Of course, it hasn't been the same without you, Sayori. He'd be doing okay though, right? Huh? Oh, what do you mean? He you know, life in general, I guess. How are you feeling? Uh oh, I'm okay, I guess. If that's great, hearing your okay makes me feel okay. <laughs> Sayori gives Yuri a sad smile, looks out towards the school entrance. What is she thinking right now? It's possible she could still be feeling burned by everything that's happened. Did we push her to come to school too fast? I mean, she was the one who insisted she'd start today. But now I'm having doubts. Sayori so wanders off to look at some flowers in front of the school. Hey Shadow, I know what you might be thinking right now. She says this in such a weird tone, it's almost like she's reading my mind or something. God, why am I so tired? You do? Sorry, that probably sounded really weird. I just, well, I know you're really worried about her right now. But I think you should believe in her a little bit. It's the best you could do for her right now. I glance over at Sayori, who is looking at all of the surroundings around her. It's weird because these are the same objects we pass by every single day. Maybe because, like, she thought she was actually going to die and now she's just appreciating all the little things. I mean, I could totally see that. She appears to be disoriented. Like she never imagined she'd see this place again. She'll be okay, Shadow. I'll be there for her as well. We'll all be there just in case. Thanks, Yuri. See you at the club. Yuri nods and waves goodbye to see right I and I before heading in the opposite direction. Oh, how many times have I got to yawn in this video, man? The game's not boring, I'm just tired. I look back over to see Yuri noticing that she remains deeply engrossed in her reflections. I gently tap her shoulder to which she jumps slightly and looks towards me. Uh, oh, sorry Shadow, it's been so long since I've been at school. Yeah, I understand. Siri quickly dashes over to a nearby bench and plops herself down on it. Her head tilts back and looks straight up at the sky. Um, Sayori, what are you doing? We have to hit class. You wouldn't want to be late on your first day back, would you? Come on, Shadow. Sit with me. I want to see the clouds together. Well, I guess I really can't refuse an offer like that. I place my back down on the floor and sit closely next to her. Feeling like slightly embarrassed, I look up the sky above. Kinda hurts to look at, doesn't it? 
<laughs> yeah, but it sure is worth it. The sky is quite nice, but it's not really anything special. Just a couple of clouds slowly rolling as the wind commands. I guess I'm trying to remind myself of the things I used to enjoy doing. Oh my god. I'm taking a screenshot, guys. That, that is such a feeling that I always think, you know. Like, one of the worst things about depression is... Honestly, it's not the thoughts for me, personally, but... It's the fact that you don't have motivation and you just don't enjoy anything anymore. It hurts a lot, and I can really relate to that. Hmm? What do you mean? You mean before? Yeah, I forgot how fun cloud watching is. When was the last time we did this? Hmm, that's a tough one. Ten years ago, maybe? Jeez, quite a while, huh? Yeah. Siri and I stay quiet for a while. A part of me wants to believe Siri is only thinking about the clouds, but the other says that she's got other things on her mind. I would have missed this moment. Mm -hmm. Sitting here with you, watching the clouds. I'm glad that I'm able to share this moment with you, Shadow, but I'm still not sure. Hey, I'm glad to be here with you too. This is fun. Though I think I'm going to need an eye exam after this. Siri giggles and moves her head back up. <laughs> you always know how to make me laugh, don't you? Well, everyone does say that's one of my charming attributes. Really? Who says that? <laughs> uh, not important. How about I'm looking class before you late? Siri last loudly to try to arm with mine. You're too funny, Shadow. Now please take me to my destination, Mr. Butler. I pull Siri slightly closer to me and hold her bag of books. As you wish, Your Highness. Sierra and I stay most quiet as I walk to a modern glass, carrying a bag of books in tow. Having got this close to me is nice, but I can't shake this unnerving feeling that I might be pushing things a little bit too far or too fast. As I walk inside, so I can hear someone that doesn't sound like your typical squad and moving around in a bat. Oh yeah, I was gonna say, what? Pills, antidepressants, she's been taking them for about a week now, and I honestly can't tell if they're really helping her or not. Yeah, personally, um, antidepressants take quite a while to like settle in. Like, the ones I've been on, I just, yeah, took me about a month, maybe, just to start feeling the good effects. It, it really sucks, but you got to stick to it, you know? Some days it seems like her old self again, and others, not so much. I know a week isn't really not time for these things to take effect, but I can at least hope a little bit. Alright, Shadow, uh, who the- <laughs> Shadow, that's not Shadow! Alright, Siri, uh, I mean, Princess Siri. Your first stop for the day, Calculus. Uh, the absolute worst. I didn't miss this class at all. So she was passing by her mumble to themselves, almost as if they agree with Sayori's settlement sentiment. <clears throat> well, hey, I'm no math whiz, but I'm always here to help you out. I promise I'd help you avoid your missing assignments, remember? But what about your classes? You can't be letting your grades fall because of me, Eva. Trust me, I'll be fine. I've got it all up here, see? I point my finger to my head, which makes her smile. Okay, I trust you then, Shadow. I'll see you at lunch. Yep, I'll be in uh, before then. Have a good morning. Let us sigh as I watch Sayori walk into the class. Truth be told, my grades have never been this bad since, well, never. Missing one week of school means missing like a month's worth of assignments. Yeah, funny how that works. But I'll catch up. Sayori's just a priority at, priority at the moment. She doesn't need any extra stress in her life right now. Fair, fair. Sounds like a Persona soundtrack, man. Ooh, it's been a while since we met up like this, hasn't it, Siri? What do you mean? We just saw them on Friday. <laughs> that doesn't really count. This is the Literature Club. Plus, you didn't remember that until I told you this morning. Oh, hey, yeah. <laughs> Come on, Siri, let's join the others. Hello, everyone. Huh? Oh, Siri, you finally decided to come back, huh? Hello again, Siori. I hope you've been having a lovely first day back. <coughs> hey, Siori. Haven't seen you in quite some time. Glad to have my trusty vice president by my side again. That blink face is nice. <laughs> right. Trusty. And I'm here too. Hey, guys. <laughs> okay, okay. Hold your applause. <laughs> We're just messing with each other. We need to get it all twisted. We were? Now, 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 everyone. Let's all calm down. We don't want to overwhelm Sayori on our first day back, do we? Right, right. Well, welcome back. Thanks, guys. I'm glad to be back. 
And I'm sure Shadow is very glad to be back too. <laughs> oh my god, these wiki faces are so cute! Like, these are, they're so cute! <laughs> he says this to the way that makes me blush. I just like my first day being here. Uh, what? Just like my first day here being surrounded by a bunch of pretty girls is it, isn't exactly something I expect myself to get used to. Well, of course I miss this club meetings if I'm being totally honest. He sure, that's the only reason. <laughs> I feel my face get hot. Y yeah, I'm sure. Don't pester me about it. Man, you boys are all the same. Speaking of, does anyone else find it weird that Shadow's the only boy here? No, not really, no. They have besides Shadow Grief wanted this place after all, isn't that right? I'd be lying if I said I didn't find a new appreciation for poem writing and stuff. So yeah, I do like hanging out here with you guys, it's fun. Can we stop saying the word hanging? Please! Well, I'm glad to hear that then, Shadow. I was worried you were still iffy about the club, so it's nice to hear you find it fun. If it's, it's a shame we had to cancel the festival, however. That was our last opportunity to invite other members and show them what we're all about. That was a lot that just happened in that scene. Sayori, uh, Monica's disappointment, Sayori, like, reacting to it, and Natsuki be like, Really, Monica? Sayori visibly sinks down looking like a scared puppy. Well, it's all okay now. Honestly, I feel like the club works perfect with us five. Y yeah, you're kind of right. It's kind of like one big happy family, huh? Yeah. Don't you think so too, Sayori? Zero glances over towards Monica. Well, I do agree with that. I feel bad for ruining your plans, Monica. Uh-oh. Uh, 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 you didn't ruin anything, Siri. I'm sorry if it came out bad. I was just saying. You know what? I agree as well. It's a lot easier to manage a club with only four members in it. So don't worry, Siri. Everything is okay. Siri's expression doesn't change. An awkward silence sweeps the room and it's only broke by Yuri clearing her throat and opening her mouth to speak. <clears throat> well, how about we get started with today's meeting plans? Great idea, Yuri. For starters, why don't we all write poems to present them tomorrow? I know it's been a little while since we last did them, but I think it'd be a great way to put out any tough emotions you all could be dealing with. Is she trying to make Siori upset, though? Sound good, everyone. The girl's not in agreement. Now, uh, I didn't really have anything else planned for today, as I didn't want to leave Siori out just in case she didn't fill up for coming. I literally saw the word hanging, like, bro, I must... Stop. <laughs> Siori can relax and do their own figure, right? Natsuki shrugs and walks over towards the closet. Yuri awkwardly walks towards the right room, only to clumsily walk towards a desk with her bag on it. Hey, Siri, I wanted to apologize if I said anything to make you feel upset. I've been quite stressed lately. It's also why I wasn't really able to visit all that often. School is me, quite busy and stuff. No, oh, no, it's okay. I understand, Monica. It's tough having to manage all those things. Please don't feel bad. You're still a good friend regardless. Siri so gives Monica a light smile. Unsurprisingly, Monica... What? Surprisingly, Monica blinks a few times without saying much more. Monica walks out towards the front of the room and starts arranging some papers around. Uh-huh, well... Alright then. Let's sit over there, Sigurd. Alright. I sit myself down in a desk next to Sigurd and pull out some paper from my bag. Poems, poems, poems. I guess I could write about how all of this made me feel, but... Sully Sigurd taps my shoulder. Mm -hmm. Oh, what's up? Why are you talking with the other girls? You already spent so much time with me. I stifle a chuckle. Haha, <laughs> Sigurd, it's a mod about you, silly. Oh, what's funny? Well, of course I'm gonna spend time with you, Tommy. Why wouldn't I? I'm sure the others understand. Well, I don't want the others to feel left out. Besides, you must have had enough of me. Too much of me, it's very bad. <laughs> hmm, almost like candy, huh? <laughs> sure. I glance over towards Latsuki, who's rummaging through the closet, and then over to Yuri, who's pulling out a different novel from the last time I saw her. But on the other hand, is still arranging the same papers as if she has nothing else to do. I'm sure they're fine, Siori. If it helps you feel any better, I'll try talking to to them more this week. Yeah, that's the spirit, Shadow. I am still glad you're with me, though. Yeah, me too. I watch the CEO reaches to her bag and pulls out a cookie. God knows where she finds those. The cookie has some... The cookie has some saran wrap around it to keep it soft and to top it all off, a familiar kitten sticker is on the front of it. Huh? Where'd you get that? My house. Duh. Do you think I make cookies appear out of thin air? Hmm. These days, I don't know what power she could be hiding from there. <laughs> well, it's not like I stole this cookie or anything. Siri quickly opens up the wrapping and opens up her mouth big and wide. Sully loud bang is heard from behind me. <laughs> her face! Hey, I had three cookies in my bag. I've only got one. I glance over towards Natsuki who's looking straight at Siri. Siri, did you get through my stuff? 
Sierra quickly jumps out of a desk and runs out of the room. Ah, Sierra, give it back! Natsuki quickly runs off to her, their screams seem to echo throughout the entire school. Well, alright then, guess I never took Sierra as the time to steal Natsuki's cookies. I left alone with Yuri and Monica with the silence only being broken by Natsuki and Sierra's antics. Ah, uh, they're quite something, aren't they, Yuri? Yuri looks up from her book, looking almost disappointed to be interrupted. Oh, sh sure, I guess so. Ah, uh, gosh, sometimes those two can be so childish, can't they? Um, well, if you had mentioned this opinion when I first met her, I'd agree with you. But, um, I think Natsuki's a lot more mature than she makes herself out to be. R really? Huh, never would have guessed that. I disagree as well, honestly. I mean, sure, she's a little childish, but it's got a charm to it. That goes for Sierra as well. Uh, uh alright, I give. To be fair, Sierra is my bias for a reason. What would that reason be? But it convinced a little before scratching her head. Uh, um, w well, it's actually a bit of a private matter. Really? Why would something like that be private? I'm pretty sure Sierra would like her privacy to be respected. You could try asking her about it. Monica so looks slightly annoyed. But, sorry, I just rather uh, not break her trust. You're a nice jack and so glad to each other. Alright then. Monica turns to her desk and strangely starts rearranging the same papers from earlier. What the hell? Is she feeling alright? Yuri awkwardly sits herself down the desk and gets ready to open up her book. Hey Yuri, what are you reading there? It's pretty obvious that Yuri wasn't really expecting me to approach her at all, but this is... I'm this far in, so I might as well hit going. Ah, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to scare you or anything. Oh, uh, uh, no, you didn't scare me. I was just... I was surprised you came up to me and... Oh, I am sorry. Jeez, I really know how to make this interaction awkward, don't I? That's all right, Yuri. You don't need to explain yourself. I can, send you, I can see your book is about history. Yuri slowly glances over. Y yes, it's about a German soldier from the Second World War. Ah, interesting. Honestly, I thought you were all about horror stories and nothing else. Yuri so looks slightly offended and looks away. I read other genres too. God, hope she's angry. Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. That's my bad. I didn't mean to make you upset or anything. That's okay. Good job, Shadow. I really know how to win over a girl's heart. Uh, well, what what is it about? Yuri slowly turns back around and lifts up the book from off the desk. She holds it close to her chest and opens her eyes almost as if, as if the book just unlocked something within her mind. Well, it's technically a horror story, so you weren't entirely wrong with your assumption, but it's non-fiction, which already makes it quite different from what I usually read. This soldier, he's constantly faced with extremely difficult decisions and situations. As a result, he starts to break down mentally and lose sight of who he is and the person he used to be. Despite all his training, he's always in a constant set of doubt in terms of his loyalty to his country and his own humanity. He even comes close to suicide on multiple occasions, only because it'd be easier than dealing with the horrors of war. He even forced this one family to... Uh, well, that would actually be a spoiler. Yuri gently placed the book down on the desk. Anyway, I enjoy this quite a bit. I'm not too much of a history enthusiast, but I enjoy the explorations on the human psyche. It shows how easily it can be broken by external stimuli. I mean, imagine being placed in a situation in which you must choose between who lives and who dies. I can't even begin to fathom how much pain and torment these men must have went through. The writing is also so descriptive. It's on par with even the most detailed fiction stories I've read. It chills me to the bone, much like my horror novels. That's why I love it. I'm at a loss for words. Yes, yeah, so all my, my flippin' voice box. I guess while I was too busy focused on that secret when I first got here, I never really noticed how passionate Yuri is about her novels. When discussing them, she appears to speak rapidly with great enthusiasm as well. Well, that actually sounds pretty awesome. I'm interested now. That's what's for to hear. You don't think I've rambled too much, do you? N not at all. Yuri sighs in relief. Sorry, it's been a really long time since anyone has shown interest in what I read. Well, other than Sayori, but I don't know if that really counts. Really? That's a little surprising. Not the Sayori part, that actually makes sense. Hmm, how so? Well, it could have only been Sayori, right? You're very pretty for one thing. I'd imagine you'd have lots of people coming up to you to try and be your friend. Uh, um, well, that's... And after hearing how passionate you get about reading, it's hard to believe you don't have any friends after that. Yuri suddenly starts fidgeting with her hair and looking back and forth frantically. Y y Yuri, you're alright. I'm sorry, will you excuse me for a moment? Y Yuri suddenly leaves the club and leaves me alone with Monica. Hey, um, what happened, Shadow? I, I don't know, she just looked really nervous and left the room. He didn't say anything to upset her, did you, Shadow? No, I'd never think of doing that. Good, glad to hear it. In any event, maybe Yuri needs to use the restroom and didn't want to make it awkward, so she left in a hurry. Hmm, yeah, I guess you're right. Just happened a little too suddenly, I guess. It happens, no need to worry about it. Monica returns to the desk, and instead of messing around with the same paper she's been messing with for the last half hour, she instead reaches into her bag and pulls out... Sheet music? Oh, that's right. Monica did mention she played the piano. I guess I forgot about that. I was going to say, where the hell is Sayori? This is a Sayori mod. Anyway, I'm going to leave this one here. If you guys enjoyed, please like, subscribe. I'll see you guys next one. Peace out.